Today on Horseland. Buongiorno, Giancarlo, please. When Chloe and Zoe have their credit cards canceled. What? They finally discover that friends and family are more valuable than money. I love you, sis. I heard that. My favorite time of the year, springtime. It's like the whole world is waking up from winter and falling in love <sighs> all over again. Boo. Ah! <laughs> that wasn't a friendly thing to do, Angara. Ah, just my way of saying I care. You know, it's always nice to tell somebody you care when you really mean it. Like some folks found out here at Horseland, back on another spring morning. <laughs> Where are we going, Nani? You'll see. Surprise! Surprise! I thought I was keeping my birthday a secret. <laughs> Can't keep secrets from us, amiga. I didn't want anybody making a fuss. We know. That's why we dragged you all the way up here. Happy birthday, Sarah. It's O. Henry. My Uncle Charlie gave me a copy years ago. Nani, thanks so much. I love O. Henry stories. Now mine. It's a memory box. See, full of little memories. My cousin showed me how to make them. That pine cone's from the first trail ride we all took. There's one of Scarlett's old shoes. Will had that. Molly is so thoughtful, thank you. Now mine, now mine. Knitted it myself. My abuela taught me how. Oh, Alma, I love it. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on here? Today's Sarah's birthday. You're having a party? And you didn't invite us? No, no, I didn't want anybody doing anything special, but they found out about it. Look what Alma made me. Isn't it incredible? Come on, Zoe. We have to get her something good and fast. Buongiorno, Giancarlo, please. Tell him it's Chloe. Ah, bonjour, Victor. S'il vous plaît. What are you doing? Ordering you some shoes. Giancarlo's my favorite designer. Wait till you see the gown Victor makes you. You don't have to do this. It's your birthday, Sarah. Of course we have to. Ah, Giancarlo. How do I stop them? I don't think you can. When they have the credit cards out, you don't want to get in the way. We'll have them overnight. The packages ought to be here tomorrow. Shouldn't you ask your parents before you do something like this? Daddy's out of the country on business. In Dubai. Mommy, too. They won't get the bill for weeks. I appreciate what you did, really. But I don't need a gift to know you're my friends. <laughs> Nothing says I care like Italian shoes. Well, next time, just tell me you care, okay? Sorry, we don't do mush and gush. Then how do you tell each other I love you? We don't. When we want to say it, we buy something for each other. Seems to me it's important to let someone know you care about them. Oh, we care, believe me. Zoe, Zoe, where are you? Anybody? Huh? Oh! 
What's going on, Bailey? <gasps> oh, man. You won't, won't believe. Just found out. <laughs> Catch your breath, Bailey. You know the big Founders Day celebration in town every spring? Yeah. Guess who's the Grand Marshal in the parade this year? Is it Zeke LaFont? I love his show. I'll pass out right now if it's Zeke LaFont. Oh, I bet it's Carly Nicola. She's my favorite singer. Nope and nope. Then who is it? It's us. All right! <laughs> oh, yes! 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 The whole parade's going to be live on TV. Everybody's gonna see us. I'm going to invite my abuela. I hope she can be there to see us in person. I'll invite my Uncle Charlie. I know he'd love it. My cousin will be there. I can tell you that. I know my mom and dad will be here. You think mommy and daddy can come? They're in Dubai, Zoe. Can't hurt to ask them. Daddy, guess what? Chloe and I are going to be grand marshals at a huge parade next Friday. Yes, it is wonderful. Can you and mommy come see us? Oh, sure. I understand. Right, right. Next time. Bye, Dad. Gonna be tied up in meetings. Hey, I have an idea. Let's come up with some cool routines for the horses. We can do them all along the parade route. Great yeah. idea, Sarah. Let's do right. it. We can do it this afternoon. Bailey, will you help us work out some routines? You got it. Come on, keep that line straight. Okay, leg yield now to the right. Three steps. All right, nice moves. Now, big circle. You know, we should all go out and dress the horses extra fancy for the parade. That's a great idea, Nani. We can add feathers and bells and things to the bridles. And do some fancy braid work on their manes and tails. And don't forget about us. We have to look dazzling, too. That's right. We need to go all out on our outfits. Straight line. Three steps left. Leg yield. I might make something totally new. Abuela's been teaching me to sew. Okay, pirouette. I'm going to wear my French riding pants. They are so cool. What jacket will you wear? I'll call Giancarlo and have him make one to match the pants. Sure, it'll cost a fortune, but I'm worth it. Back three now. I'll wear my suede riding jacket from Victor's of Paris. Oh, dazzling, sis. What pants will you wear with it? Back three. Back three, Zoe, back. Spread out. One line. <laughs> <laughs> Victor can make me a pair to match. You two don't need to spend so much. It's a one-day thing. What matters is you look good by riding well. Oh, Sarah, who's going to look at you if you aren't dressed to dazzle? Come on, pick up the slack in that line. Okay, figure eight now. And I have absolutely nothing else to wear. Same here. All my clothes are so last season. Chloe, Zoe, come on, focus. You can't think about clothes and this routine. You're right, Bailey. We'll just focus on clothes. <laughs> Ciao, Giancarlo. Victor, I need some suede riding pants immediately, if not sooner, to match the jacket you made me. I need a jacket, Giancarlo, to match the French riding. What? Is everything all right? Daddy, he, he, he cut off my credit. Mine too. They called him in Dubai and told him we maxed out our cards. Oh, well, come on. It's not the end of the world, right? Yes, yes it, it is. is. Zoe, how's it going? It's going fine. Considering that we have no lives, Daddy cut off all our credit cards. Oh, I'm sure you'll be okay. Hey, you still have each other, right? <laughs> hey guys, guess what? 
What's up, Nani? I talked to my Uncle Charlie. He's going to be there for the big parade. Oh, that's great. My abuela's coming too. I invited my cousin and she'll be here. I'm so glad they can make it. Well, I'm glad none of our family will be there. I know what you mean, sis. I couldn't stand for them to see me in a jacket and pants that don't match. Nope, just could not stand it. Chloe looked sort of sad, didn't she? Yeah, she did. I wish she wouldn't feel that way. I, I wish that too. I don't want to see her sad. Well, you could go cheer her up. Huh? Oh, how do I do that? <laughs> Maybe tell her you love her, like sisters do. No, no, couldn't do that. Think of something else. It'd be nice to let her hear it, Zoe. Oh, you're no help. I'll think of something myself. I think you will. today, Chloe. Chloe? Zoe doesn't look too happy, does she? I've never seen her this way. She's so... gloomy. I wish I could help her. Well, there's an idea. Why don't you tell her you love her? That'd probably make her feel a lot better. Oh, please. Alma, you have to be kidding me. Hey, it might help more than you know. See you tomorrow, Chloe. Yeah, right. See ya. I wonder how Chloe and Zoe are holding up. I tried to get Chloe to cheer up Zoe. Like, just say, I love you, you know? I tried to get Zoe to do the same thing. And what happened? Nothing. Those two aren't much for expressing feelings. I wish we could help. Psst. Chloe, what's going on? I figured out how to cheer Zoe up. How? Clothes. But you can't afford to buy anything, remember? I know. But I'm still going to get her those pants. How? I'm going to sell my riding pants, the French ones. Why? Then I'll have enough money to get Zoe the pants she's been dreaming of. And what will you wear in the parade? Oh, I don't have to be in the parade. There'll be others. Just think how happy this will make Zoe. You know, maybe it's not a bad idea. Right! Hey, Alma, I gotta tell somebody. What, Zoe? I had a fantastic idea to cheer Chloe up. What's that? I'm going to sell my riding jacket and buy her the jacket she wants. What'll you wear in the parade? I don't care about that parade, just how happy Chloe will be. Everybody ready? Just about, Bailey. Meet me out at the... Hold on, where are Chloe and Zoe? Uh, yeah, about that. Zoe's not going to be at practice today, Bailey. Oh. Or tomorrow, either. Or the next day. What? Why not? <sighs> She's dropping out of the parade. She's what? Chloe is, too. What is going on here? Why are they dropping out? Well, don't know if I should tell, but Zoe's selling her riding jacket so she can buy Chloe a jacket to match her pants. Oh, boy. Chloe's selling her pants so she can buy Zoe something to match her jacket. You better let him know right now and save them both a big headache. Bailey's right. Yeah, we gotta tell him. Maybe not. Why not? Maybe we should let this play out. Maybe they'll learn something from it. Sarah! Have you seen Zoe? No, I haven't, Chloe. She left the house early, but she said she'd be here. 
Well, I'm sure she'll show up soon. Come on, I want to see how this turns out. Look, Sarah, I did it! I sold my job purse and got her new riding pants. Chloe! There you are! Where have you been? Oh, had an errand to run. I have something for you. Yeah? I have something for you, too. Okay, you go first. No, sis, you first. No, no, you, sis, really. No, 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 you. You! Why don't you do it at the same time? Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. I know you're going to be surprised, sis. You too, sis. I think we can count on that. Oh, Zoe, it's a... It's a riding jacket that matched my good riding pants. Oh, well, Chloe, you shouldn't have. It's a pair of pants that match my nice riding jacket. Well, hey, thanks, sis. Just what I wanted. Right, me too. Exactly what I wanted. The only thing is... Is what, Zoe? Well, I sort of sold my riding jacket to get you a jacket to match your pants. Oh, I sort of sold my pants to get you a pair to match your jacket. And now neither of you have an outfit to wear for the parade. It doesn't really matter. Not to me. Me either. I'm glad I did it for my sister. Yeah, it feels good to think of somebody else instead of yourself, doesn't it? It feels good to show somebody you care, doesn't it? Maybe now you can tell each other how you feel. You're right. Oh, sis, I... You know, you... I know, Chloe, and I... You know, you too. Wow, that felt good. It sure did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm happy you're happy, but let's hear you say it. With words. Aw, oh, come on, Sarah. Give us a break. Say it. Aw, uh, all right. Zoe, I... Uh, I... Uh, yeah, Chloe, I, 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 I... Just say it! I, I love, love you, sis. sis! Well, that was touching. That wasn't so bad, was it, sis? No. Felt kind of good, actually. And you know what? I don't even care if we can't be in the parade. Me neither. Wait! You can still be in it! How? If we can get some nice material, I can sew matching jackets and pants for you. Could you do that, Alma? Is there enough time? The parade's tomorrow. I think I could if I work fast. But we can't buy fabric. We don't have any money. I know where to get some, if you two don't mind. What are you talking about? I could sell the nice shoes and dress you gave me. What do you say? Oh, oh yes! yes. We have to get busy. Molly and Nani and I will handle the horses. You three work on the outfits, all right? All right! It's almost time to load the horses. We'll be there. Well, what do you think? You look dazzling. Come on, come on, the trailer's ready. And Alma, your grandma's here. Abuela! She's going to ride to the parade with us. Nani, your uncle's here too. Uncle Charlie? Wonder if my cousin is here yet. Yeah, Mom and Dad ought to be here, too. Isn't this jacket incredible? Yeah, these pants turned out great, too. I really love them. And I love you, Chloe. Yeah, love you, too, sis. I heard that. Hey, what's the idea eavesdropping like that? I wasn't. I came to tell you. There's somebody here to see you. It's Mommy! And Daddy! You made it back! Shh. 
You see, Angara, you can tell Tini how much you care anytime you want. Oh, yes, yes, you can tell me right now, Angora! Oh, yeah, yeah. Love you, pig. You might say it a little louder. That's all right. It was just perfect. 